and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on my E36 M3 and, it, and specifically we're going to be fixing my power steering actually because that's kind of hard. Uh, the steering is kind of hard at low speed so I think I can just top off the fluids. I'm not sure or I will have to flush the whole system. I'm not really sure but I have bought some new um, trans, uh, some new power steering fluids so hopefully I will work that out and I have actually also fixed a couple of things since the last video and you may see it already and that is actually some new tinted turn signals I bought some brand new tinted turn signals for this thing I think it looks really really good and I don't know if I mentioned it but I was missing the piece behind the plate right here as well so now we got that so I'm really happy about that the car looks a lot cleaner I think I will remove the engine lights I'm not sure yet and I also have fixed the issue that I had in the trunk because that would not close properly but now it does and I found the issue and the issue is this <laughs> I saw one of you guys in the comment section and you were absolutely right to see here it has cracked right there and there so it actually this whole thing moved and that made it not being able to like lock properly but now it does and I will go and buy myself like a brace or a bracket I will put on the underside so this will be even better because as you see right now the fitment is not the best so I'll have to fix that and of course I will fix the whole trunk soon because I don't want to I do not want to drive around with these holes so yeah I think also we are going to swap out the wheels today because I really want to see how the my Porsche 993 turbo wheels will, will look on an E36. I mean, it does look really, really good with the rondelles, but uh, I kind of like to go my own way and my own style. And I have actually ordered some new, brand new wheels for this car, which are coming in later. But for now, I think we will, I would like to try the Porsche wheels. These are 17 inch rondelle D58. But we really want to see if this car can take some 18 inch wheels and will it look good will it look bad i don't really know but it would be cool to put some 18s on here to see how that looks and we will also fix the exhaust because the exhaust is hanging a little bit loose so i will uh, buy some exhaust like hangers some rubber like rubber uh, bushings or uh, to hold the exhaust in place better i think it's a good episode i'm really excited to be working on the e36 because you all know i do really love BMWs, so be working on this car is so much fun. This is so, it, this is such a good summer car. I mean, E36, Cabriolet, it has S50 engine, it sounds good. I mean, M50 also does sound really, really good, but like S50 engine has that little extra, really like that. So now I have actually called Greg and he's going to do a little burnout for me because since we're swapping the tires, Anyways, why don't do a little burnout so we wear out the old tires and we will probably replace the rear tires on this with new ones. So yeah, since we're swapping the wheels anyways, let's do a short burnout so we can hear the sound and how this M3 actually performs. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now let's fix that power steering issue that I have. So let's first remove some of the air intake and stuff like that, and then see what color my power steering fluid is first. Hopefully it's green. If it's green, then I can just take a refill. So hopefully, let's cross our fingers that it's green. And the reason I took it out is because the power steering fluid is under there. It's really hard to get to, but the power steering is like under here. I don't know if you actually can see it. Yeah, there we have the power steering. So I would now take a cloth or something and take that up in there and see if it turns green. Hopefully it does. That's red. I do not want to mix this and the red one so I will have simply have to drain everything and buy one more of this actually and I want to do that properly so I will actually not do that today and that kind of sucks so I'll buy another one drain everything and get it all up there and then pour fresh new green power steering fluids in there instead but that doesn't matter we can now begin to swapping out the wheels and I'm really excited to see how it will look with the Porsche wheels. I mean, 90s Porsche wheels and a 90s BMW, I feel that will fit even better than it did on my E91. And yeah, speaking of my E91, as you probably can see, that's gone. I have sold it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't told you guys, it's probably a few videos ago, but I realized that I do not need an M3, a Skyline, and all, and the E39 actually also, uh, or the E91 in the summertime. So I sold it and I will most likely buy myself a new winter beater when that time comes, but that's like, a long time forward so I sold it so I don't need to have uh, plates on it and pay a lot of money for it so yeah it's gone it was a daily it was all right or it was pretty good but uh, now it's gone that's all right okay, here we have the Porsche wheels I want to take test out the rear first because this is a 10 inch wide wheel that's exactly the same as this one but this is 265 and this is like 225 or something like that so it's quite a stretch but this is no stretch uh, so i don't know can you actually fit a 265 monster truck tire on an e36 i don't know let's find out <laughs> oh yeah that's not a lot of tires left Okay, so, so the way this works is actually you need a spacer because this is 5x120 and Porsche wheels are 5x130. So we have this adapter spacer right here, which we will put on top like so. And then we can actually use these same bolts. Uh, on some wheels, you have to have shorter bolts. Head, the head on the bolt must be shorter. But on these wheels, it doesn't matter because there is space in the wheel to actually have these. I can show you on the, the behind the wheel. Here, the bolts, original bolts, will be. So there is space for them. So it doesn't matter. But on some wheels, this thing is all like a one complete metal thingy. I don't know what to, what to say, what they, to call it, but yeah. But anyways, here you have room, so it doesn't matter. So now we have the spacer on, and I will tighten that pretty hard. That's really important, tighten that super, super hard. When you're doing it in front, someone, need to, someone needs to actually help you and push the brake pedal so you can properly tighten. But here you can just use the brake. Okay, now that's on. Moment of truth. Will the Porsche wheel fit? I'm so excited about this. I don't know, 265? Ah, it is so wide, this, but, uh, oh damn, and it's heavy. Uh. Elbow. Moment of truth. Will a 265, uh, 35, 18 wheel fit on an E36. I mean 265. It's huge But hopefully it will fit. I mean, 
yeah, hopefully it will fit. <laughs> I think the e offset now is like offset 30 or something like that, or 35, but let's see. Uh, well. It's a stretch. I think actually this is drivable, but really close. But that's what you call good fitment. Okay, uh, I will actually take it for a short drive in uh, around the block because I don't want, do not want to change the front tires and then it does not work in the rear. But it looks like it's kind of like positive camber. I don't know. I do have actually adjustable camber arms underneath, so I could actually adjust the camber a little bit more. But let's take it for a short drive around the block and see if it rubs or scrubs or whatever. Okay. My bad power steering will probably not like 18 inch wheels. Hmm. I do hear a noise actually. There is a there is a noise, most definitely. Ah, damn it! Yeah, there is. There's a noise coming from the right air. I don't know if you can hear that. Damn it! Maybe. Maybe I just need to make it a little bit higher right there. I don't know, because it is quite low right here. And I mean, that's not a lot of space, but I don't, it doesn't look like on the tire. I can't, it doesn't look like it's actually rubbing. It's super, super close though, but it's not rubbing. But I don't know if I need to raise it a little bit because it's coming a sound from that side and not the other one. It's, it seems like it's a little bit higher right there. I don't know. Damn. I am really loving that vibe of the 90s Turbo 911 wheels and that 90s BMW. Really, really cool. And my girlfriend changing her tires for herself for her one series. I don't get, I don't see what is actually the problem. I hear a noise, but I cannot see what the problem is. That sucks. Oh, I think actually instead of racing it, I think, oh, it looks so good, but you know what, instead of racing it, I do have some uh, racing slicks tires that are legal for the road that I had on my E46 M3 actually. So let's simply swap those and I know they fit. That's a white ass. But now I found the wheels and it's these. I don't know if you remember these, but I had these on a track day a couple of years ago. And as you see, tires here are, <laughs> that's like semi-slicks tires. So these are extremely sticky on a hot summer day. And when you have done some driving and you get some real temperature into these, these are seriously fantastic. They grip up really, really good. And they are so much fun in a car like that. So I'm excited to get these on. We are done. And I must say now, this really reminds me of my old 325 Cabrio. I will put a, a photo up here I posted on Instagram a while back. Look at that. With the same wheels. It's actually the exact same wheels actually also. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not the best fitment. <laughs> But uh, it works. So I'm really happy about today. Really good feeling to just work on a BMW again and work on specifically a E36. I really love that. So I am super happy. I really enjoy this car and I have not been filming. I know I'm not filming every time I use this car, but I have been using it a lot. I mean, yesterday I was I took it on a five hour road trip, like drove with the cab down and the roof off all the way and just had the best time. So I'm really enjoying the car and it's a lot of fun. I simply, I enjoy it so much. It's just like, it's like having my E36 325 again, only with a bigger engine. I, it's so good. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.